Hi friends! In October 2021, we took a two-week trip to Quebec to explore the Gaspé Peninsula. We started our trip with a late night drive so that we could avoid the morning rush hour the next day. Here we are driving through downtown Toronto. Before we started on the drive east, we rode our bikes along the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail in Pickering and Ajax. We couldn't have asked for a better day. This is Port Hope Fish Ladder at Corbett's Dam, where we happen to arrive at a perfect time to see the salmon swimming upstream, leaping into the air to go back to the place where they first started their life. We also rode our bikes from the fish ladder along the Ganaraska River down to West Beach at Lake Ontario. We arrived in Coburg just before sunset and had a lovely bike ride in this pretty little waterfront town. This is the Waterfront Trail in Kingston, Ontario. Morning. Confederation Park, also known as Sculpture Park, is on the Gananake River in the town of Gananake. It was a perfect stop for a driving break. After Gananake, we took the scenic route along Thousand Islands Parkway. The landscapes along this route are breathtaking. We spent the night in the parking lot of Cooper's Marsh and took the opportunity the next morning to walk through the park before we started our drive.
these are right. I'm ready to be eaten the summer. <laughs> This campground is open only during the summer months, so we were able to spend the night here without bothering anyone. Here we are in a suburb of Montreal called St. Catherine, Quebec. It's right on the St. Lawrence River and a perfect place to explore by bike. Rivière du Loup is a small city on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River. We explored by bike and then took a walk at the waterfall park in town. Most of the drive around Gaspé Peninsula is right along the water and the rest stops cannot help but be stunning. On top of that, Quebec has put a lot of extra care in making them beautiful. Stopping for a driving break was a destination in itself.
Perisay Rock is a major attraction in the Gaspé Peninsula. It's a huge rock formation in the Gulf of St. Lawrence and one of the world's largest arches located in the water. This is the city of Gaspé. Although it was pretty cold, we spent a couple of days here exploring the city, walking along the beach, and taking our bikes out for exploring a little further. There are over 40 lighthouses along the coast of Quebec. We certainly didn't see them all, but here are a couple that we passed by. We stopped in Rimouski for a bike ride through Beausajour Park and the waterfront area along the St. Lawrence River. As we drove through the town and villages, one thing that stood out more than anything else was that there was a church in almost every town. Religion is an important part of Quebec's history and it's quite evident as you drive through the province.
We arrived in Quebec City at the most perfect time to see the vibrant fall colors. We rode our bikes along the St. Lawrence River and then uphill to the plains of Abraham Park and back down through the city. There's something about bridges that we both love, maybe because they are always over a body of water or maybe because they connect us to more beautiful places to travel to. Whatever the reason, we always both reach for the camera when we see one approaching. The Ottawa River separates the provinces of Quebec and Ontario. Gatineau is on the north side of the river and Ottawa is on the south. We spent a day in Gatineau as it was much easier to get around and park there. We rode our bikes and paid a little visit to Parliament Hill in Ottawa. After that, we decided it was time to head home. We stopped in Peterborough, Ontario for a stretch and bike ride, and in Port Perry, Ontario for another driving break.
Thanks for watching.